This week, I've been learning how to make magic wool. Last week, I came across a beautiful book called Magic Wool, Mermaids and Fairies by Christine Schaefer. And now I'm so inspired to experiment with a range of materials I have at home and in the garden and learn how to create with felt needles. While I wait for the needles to arrive in the post, I'm preparing magic wool. Magic wool is the name that Christine gives for the fibres that have been dyed, especially for making our little friends of nature. Some years ago, I was given off cuts of alpaca fleece. The wool is perfect for needle felting, but it was filthy. For a long time, I was nervous to try and clean it. I had little experience with natural fibers, but now I'm determined and willing to try. Carefully I pick out from the wool, with my fingers, grass seeds and specks of dirt. As I clean the wool, I find myself traveling back in time and to the central Andes. There, in pre-Columbian times, camelids were sacred. For example, yamas helped people in various ways. They carried goods around the Andes and provided meat. While alpacas provided fleece, Incan weavers wove very fine thread and used it to make various items such as clothes. Some of these customs and traditions continue into today. There is one ritual that comes to mind as I tease the wool. During the Great Sun Festival, Kapak Yuraimi, young men who were becoming Inca pass time in ceremony, honoring their ancestors at temples and shrines. They held wool in their hands and then blew it into the air. As they did this, they prayed for the health of their ancestors. Thinking of this ritual reminds me just how precious and sacred alpaca wool is. It takes a whole year for the animal to grow their hair and I feel so blessed to be able to work with it. Finally I arrive at the moment when I can soak the wool. I need the hot water to be just right so that the wool does not felt. I worked into the evening and in the end I had to rinse the wool multiple times in water of the same temperature and then I spun it in my washing machine. It is autumn here so for my first needle felt projects I'm going to create using an autumn inspired colour palette decided to dye small amounts of wool with food colouring and grape leaves. I prepare the wool to receive the dye by soaking them first in water and vinegar. Later I replace a liquid with clean water and then add around 12 drops of food colouring.
as the wool sits in food colouring. Mabel the fairy helps me pick some grape leaves. I have read that grape leaves can give a yellow dye. I chop around two handfuls of leaves, add clean water and then boil them for just over an hour. After straining the leaves, I soak the wool in the liquid. Mmm, I don't know what happened. The leaves have given me a grey dye. That's okay, grey is a very handy colour. And perhaps there was a bit of synchronicity at play. For the following day, I used some of the grey wool in a clay project, making a tiny lion for my nephew. Mother Nature is just so giving. We are so incredibly blessed to have such a kind and loving Earth Mother. Many blessings to you, Wonder Weavers. May you too have fun experimenting with the beautiful materials that Mother Earth provides. Take care, stay well. Chitty.